We start this evening with a heartbreaking accident. A four year old girl dies after a family's car plunges off the San Jacinto River Bridge. We are told the little girl was not in a car seat or buckled up. Now authorities are stressing the importance of making sure your kids are properly restrained. We have team coverage tonight. Janelle Bluda takes a closer look at the investigation. But we start with Marcelina Benito, who is at the hospital where the family cannot come to grips with what has happened. Marcelino. Guys, this family was just destroyed by this morning's horrific accident. Both parents are here at Memorial Hermann Hospital. Meanwhile, their daughter, four year old Andrea Salas, is dead. Take a look at this picture provided to us by the family of the four year old girl. The girl's mother says they have only been in the United States about a month. They came here to give her a better life. Now they have to plan their little daughter's funeral. Investigators say early indications suggest an 18 wheeler clipped them as they were heading westbound on I 10 near the Crosby Lynchburg exit. The family had just picked up the father who works overnight and they were heading home. The impact forced the family's car onto the guardrail and it flipped over and down onto the banks of the San Jacinto River. That was a 14 foot drop. Andrea's father was behind the wheel. He had to be taken by life flight to Memorial Hermann Hospital. The girl's mother was unscathed and remained at the scene. Investigators say the little girl was not wearing a seatbelt or in a child seat. Make sure that that all the little ones are in the proper car seats because we don't know whether or not she would have lost her life had she been properly restrained, but it certainly wouldn't have hurt. First responders found Andrea pinned underneath the front of the car. Her family is understandably devastated and also still grappling with the father's serious injuries. Investigators say it's still too early to determine if anyone will be facing charges. I can tell you investigators have a whole lot of evidence to sift through, including video from the 18 wheeler and toxicology reports from everyone involved in this morning's accident, though at this point they do not believe that alcohol played a factor in this crash. We're reporting for the Medical Center. I'm Marcelino Benito, KHOU 11 News. Man, it's just sickening, that story. A lot of you have been asking us if any of the drivers in this will face charges. Janelle Bluda is looking into that. Well, the DA's office says this is not a cut and dry who's at fault accident. That's why it may take some time to figure out if there will be any charges. Now, let me show you what they say happened. Now, this is the 18 wheeler. This driver, along with the family, were all headed westbound on I 10 going over the San Jacinto River. Now, this right here, this is the merge lane. Now, the 18 wheeler was actually in this lane. The car with the family was in this lane, and then there was another truck who was in this lane. Now, investigators believe traffic slowed here, which caused the truck to merge suddenly into this lane and to avoid hitting that the 18 wheeler merged suddenly into this lane, hitting the car that was already here. Now that forced the car with the family inside to go over the guardrail and in between the two lanes. Now the DA's office says they are reviewing everything from blood tests to traffic video to find out if there will be any charges in this accident. Guys, back to you. Just devastating. Again, the child who was killed was not properly restrained. We have a look at the car seat laws in Texas and the latest on this investigation on KHOU.com and the KHOU 11 app.